What do you think, uh, Rufus? In what way, uh, what's, what kind of difference is there between the Want One and Want Two album compared to the, the new way? Uh, well, I, th- I think that uh, Release the Stars is really, it's kind of, it's basically a kind of amalgamation or composite uh, of uh, all of my albums from the past, whether it's Poses or Want One or Want Two. And there's kind of, um, w- w- the reason that I wanted to produce it myself is that, is that I've worked with so many incredible producers over the years, like Marius DeFries and Lenny Warnocker and Pierre Marchand, all these great people. And, and I really have this um, uh, kind of body of knowledge from all of these experiences. And so I, I tried to just make Release the Stars a reflection of that. And, uh, and also, uh, you know, to try and finally illustrate exactly what I'm hearing because I, I love all my past albums but sometimes I, would f- I felt like we were just about to get to, to, the, ex- you know, to the precise uh, answer and then, you know, then, it, then it would kind of go away you know? and, I, and I think that I kind of had to do that myself you know, eventually so. what, Was there something that you, you missed? Uh, something that uh, you were looking after um, that you hadn't... Well, I mean, I, th- I think what's, what's great about Want One and Want Two and Poses and my first album that there's a, is that there's a real voyage there. There's a real, it's all about exploration and, and, uh, and also um, experimentation with certain songs um, and, and, and also mystical mysticism and, and yearning and longing, all very kind of um, youthful tendencies. Um, but uh, but that being said, um, I don't know if we ever got to who really Rufus is. You know, it's always like who is, I wonder who Rufus is, and and release the stars is very much like well, this is who Rufus is. <laughs> you want to know who I am? Here I am. And and you know, I think you can only do that after making several rec- albums. You know, so it's a much more direct record because it's very, for instance, um, a lot of the songs. Or the majority of them are about other people, and they're kind of conversations with other people where I address them like you and we and what you know I want to you know deal with this and why don't you get out of my life or come into my life or whatever. But I'm sort of addressing this other person, and oddly enough, that makes the listener know a lot more about myself because they can actually hear me speaking, you know, as opposed to me kind of going inside of myself then I think that sometimes the listener doesn't understand as much because they can't actually see you in action so I think I'm more in action with this album how did how did it turn out to be that way because that's not the easiest thing to get uh, as close to yourself um, well I mean I think I had to get close to myself first to do that I mean want one and want two are very much that that, that project of, 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 of you know stripping back the layers of of my life and finding out, you know, what and, and de- deciding what I want and deciding what I don't. Um, but after doing that, I was able to um, really, uh, with Release the Stars, I'm able to kind of just uh, be myself. Um, so I think it's actually just, it's like, it's through a lot of years of <laughs> pain and, and uh, effort and living, you know, and loving and joy and everything. But uh, I, i don't think I could make this kind of album in my 20s, you know. I think it had to be done in my 30s, and it's that kind of record, so. It seems like it's, it's a more direct and more, uh, there's more action in, yeah. in, in the, well, the sentence of, of the album. And if one to one and one two was sort of a recovery yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, theme, yeah, uh, yeah. What, how would you describe... Uh, Release the Stars? Well, Release the Stars is very much... Um, a kind of, I mean, the, the title, I mean, Release the Stars is, is sort of an order <laughs> to uh, everyone um, to really just do something, you know, uh, let's, you know, just do, you know, for years we've, we've been, you know, worried or, you know, sad or longing for something else and, 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 and there's so little time left that uh, it's it's now or never in terms of actually accomplishing anything. So, so, so it's so the, so the, it's an analogy of just you know spreading the love and and the F and the energy or whatever. So, so I think it's it's, it's very um, 
direct in, in that in that way. And I think the only way you can make someone do something is if is if you're very direct with them and tell them to do it. <laughs> you know, it's there's no kind of hinting. Um, you know, whether it's things like I'm leaving for Paris or or um, you know I'm so tired of America. They're all kind of uh, they're all actions as opposed to you know philosophies. But if you if you act out in that in that strong uh, direction, it's uh, It tends to be people who are like uh, very sick or uh, right, in right. the last days of their lives, and right, right, who, right. who will end up uh, <laughs> acting like <laughs> that way. What what made you do it? Like, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe part of it is 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 having lived in America for the last few years, where you know we, we as a nation and even the world has sort of witnessed a, an incredible fall from grace and tragic kind of. Um, tale unfold, you know, where where we've pretty much lost all of our integrity and um, and uh, power, like, uh, and uh, at least you know, in terms of persuasion. I mean, sure, we can blow up as many things as as we want, but but I don't think we're going to convince anybody anytime soon. So, so I think there's that i think i think there's that sort of desperate situation in which you really in order to to solve the problem you have to act i mean you can't think about it anymore you actually have to do something um like the sink the ship is sinking the sink is sinking <laughs> uh so we got to do something and then also i mean my mother um during the making of the album was ill she had an operation uh while I was in Berlin make recording and and she's doing amazingly well right now but definitely during that period there was a kind of desperation and a kind of fear that I was going through uh that was so much bigger than anything I'd ever experienced in my life and that, you know that's when your your loved one is sick you know very sick and uh and uh so I was um incredibly and you know for me my mother is really the most important person in my life still Um, yeah, the album is dedicated to. Yes, it. yes, yes, and she's doing amazingly well now, and everything is 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 much more improved than it was. So, so it's fine. But but at the time of making this record, it was very frightening. So so I think there was this, you know, a certain knowledge of of uh, of, of of you know death and stuff so that which which unfortunate which is terrible to go through, and uh, but everybody does, you know. So so it's uh, we're all going to have that. You know. <laughs>